cloud nine. You can be on cloud nine. And this video will help you to get there. Five steps from dark to the divine. Welcome everyone. My name is Lorraine Vestering. I'm from the Netherlands and I'm inspire you to get back to your true wonderful self. And by doing that, you will attract your one true love, which what I call a twin soul. I am on the twin soul journey for a decade. I know my twin soul or twin flame, whatever you like to call it. He loves me to call him my husband and he calls me my wife. And I have a little secret that I'm on cloud nine at the end of the video about my private life. But for now, I want you to know that this video is a map. It can be a map, a transformative expedition from joy to challenge and back again to joy. So you are on cloud nine at the beginning, but then you will go to the dark night of the soul. And then hopefully you get back to cloud nine and I'm here to help you to get back on cloud nine again. So grab your pen and paper, travel with me as we explore how this journey can be so uplifting. It can be life changing and it doesn't have to be a series of obstacles and Despite your circumstances, you can get together with your twin soul. It can be such a delightful journey, which I'm telling you in my latest video about mirror souls. I also created the song mirror souls. You can listen to it and you can experience that it can be a delightful journey. Okay, let's begin the journey station one and I call it the discovery. Our first stop is the magical moment of discovery. Imagine stepping on the plane into your new world where you meet your twin soul. Maybe you already met your twin soul. I met my twin soul 10 years ago and suddenly everything clicks because you know, this is my guy. This is my man, my future husband, my future wife, the love of my life. I just know that this is my person and you feel so amazing and you feel beautiful. At least I felt beautiful. I felt wonderful. I felt valuable. I felt valued. I felt special and appreciated by my twin soul. And everybody was saying, well, we already liked you, but now we like you even better. They like me more. And I was shining and everything was just perfect, right? So I was on cloud nine during this station one, the discovery. Not all twin souls experience the bubble love phase. We call it also the bubble love phase, but not everybody experienced this phase, but lots of people of you, they do experience it. And most of the time it only lasts for three months. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a short, wonderful phase and it's not just a simple love. It's not that you fell in love and that's it. No, you just know this is something different. This is unconditional love. That's why it's called a discovery. I call it the discovery phase because you discover that there exists a complete different love, which is called unconditional love. You probably knew that there must be something like unconditional love and you felt that Oh, I want to experience it, but you never experienced it. You never actually experienced it. And when you met your twin soul, you're like, aha, I know, I know over there, there is this unconditional love and I can have it. You can have it. So maybe you were on cloud nine. And if you were, tell me below. Oh yeah. My channel is only about positive vibes of the twin soul journey about love and abundance and manifesting and self-love and that kind of things. But if you want to complain, you have to go or start another channel because I won't allow it on my channel because it doesn't help you. And I want to help you. I want to be your guiding light on this journey. So I have an affirmation with every step on this travel vlog of the twin soul journey. So the first affirmation is part of station one discovery and the affirmation is every step brings me closer to cloud nine with my twin soul so every station every step brings me closer to cloud nine with my twin soul and let's go to the next station station two the challenge the dark the dark night of the soul it's a big challenge i think it's the biggest challenge in life Every journey has its rough patches, right? But the dark night of the soul, it's the darkest and roughest time of my life. And maybe you also had it. And as we track deeper, fear 
cloud our path. So there are dark clouds and there's fear and making us lose sight of ourselves, right? We lose ourselves and by losing ourselves, we distance ourselves from our true self. So our mirror soul, our twin soul distances themselves from you. It's just logic. It's so simple. So this fear can push your twin soul away. They can ignore you or block you or run away from you. They are not offending you, but they can withdraw. And that can lead us to a dark, confusing forest of self-doubt. So you can think like, oh, I'm not worthy enough. I'm not good enough because my twin soul has a different status, a different religion, lives in a different country. They have a different lifestyle. Maybe they have a different partner and they don't choose you and you don't feel worthy. And this is a really dark phase. You can even have feelings of, oh, I want to die. <laughs> it's such a terrible phase. And lots of people are telling about this phase and they want to reach out to other people. But I always recommend you, if you are in the dark night of the soul, the challenging phase, it's better to go within than to go without because that, that won't help anyone. It won't help you and it won't help others. And we have coaches, three of them are married with their twin soul. They followed my courses and they read the book and they did everything. So they are also on cloud nine and they are here to help you. If you just are a YouTube watcher, you can book a twin soul talk with our team. If you want to work with me, it's also possible, but I only have time and make time for people who really go all in in the journey and really invest in doing the work by following my courses, joining our Twin Soul app where I give daily inspiration. Every day I give all my insights in the Twin Soul app. It's a wonderful app where we only allow positive things as well. So if you are looking for a platform to complain, this is not your station. I only offer a direct flight. I am like a flying company and we go to all the stations and I show you the map and you only have to walk. That's, that's easy, right? And I did it the hard way because phew, I'm a little bit stubborn. I know all the things that you can better avoid, right? So it can be a challenge, but let's now give an affirmation that might help you soothe it a little bit. I am worthy to be on cloud nine in every aspect of my life. Again, I am worthy to be on cloud nine in every aspect of my life. Because in this phase, you need to see that life isn't just about your twin soul. It's about you and every aspect of your life. So make your world a little bit bigger. I am worthy to be on cloud nine in every aspect of my life. All right, go to station three, rebirth, renewal. Every explorer finds their way. You will find your way with or without me, with or without channels or courses or meditations. You will find it out. I know a woman and she got together with her twin soul, but it took her 10 years, but she didn't read any books about it because it's a long time ago. They are now married for many years and they are making music, but she didn't know about the twin soul journey. She didn't even know she was dealing with her twin soul, but it was a journey and she made a theater about it. And I organized this show a few months ago. Yeah. So you will find your way anyway, and you will rediscover your beautiful self and you will embrace your essence, embrace your essence, and you will find unconditional love, love, unconditional love for yourself, for God, especially God, the universe. You will find beauty in everything and you will find unconditional love, experience unconditional love for others, even when they might have hurt you. And of course, you will find unconditional love for your twin soul too, without needing anyone's approval. So there's a phase where you don't need approval from your parents anymore or your family. So you can lose sight of them for a while because you don't need approval from them and you don't need approval from your twin soul anymore. You don't need his or her confirmation anymore. Because if you still need their confirmation, then they will run away from you. 
So you really need to embrace this station three if you want to unite with your twin soul. Otherwise you can stay in the, in the challenge phase, but I don't recommend you because it's a terrible station. So jump back and go to station three and then we will arrive at station four, but not before I give you my affirmation, the affirmation of rebirth, the affirmation of station three. I am aligned with my twin soul lifting us to cloud nine. I am aligned with my twin soul lifting us to cloud nine. And I really hope you write everything down because writing things down will bring you into a good vibe. And if you are on a good vibe now and tomorrow and next week, you will create a wonderful life because your thoughts create. You are the creator. Every soul has a body, right? And every soul has their own universe and their own world. So you are the creator of your own universe. And if you choose healthy thoughts and experience healthy feelings, loving feelings, instead of fear, you will create a loving life. And that's what I'm aiming for, for millions of people. So share this video if you grant other people also this wonderful journey, that it can be a delightful journey, that they can experience love and abundance. All right, station four, liberation. Liberation, freedom. As we climb out of the valley, of the dark valley, we reach the mountain of liberation. You can feel free. I even create a module, it's called Freedom. It's part of my year one course, where I teach you that you have the freedom to create. So despite what everyone is saying, or maybe people in your country are believing that it's forbidden to love someone or whatever because of your religion, you are free to create. They cannot control your mind and your thoughts create. So nobody can control whatever you are creating. You are so powerful and you have the freedom to create and you deserve it. Allow it, accept it that you are powerful. Yeah. <laughs> and it can be a surprising place, this station of liberation, where you really realize, oh, wow, I am powerful. I don't have to be and stay in the victim mode. I can be in a loving mode, in a creative mode, in a powerful mode, in the union mode. So you don't longer need your twin soul. And that might sound a little bit contradictory that you don't need your twin soul anymore. And some people are afraid if they don't need them anymore that they won't get their union. But the opposite is true. If you don't need your twin soul anymore, they come back. And if you do it right, they will stay with you forever and ever. And you will be so incredibly happy because you don't need your twin soul for your happiness. But of course, it's really nice to be together with your twin soul. It's the same with money. You don't need money to be happy. But wow, it's really nice if you can buy nice flowers. Look at this flower. You know, I really love it. So, yeah, I don't need the flower, but I really think it's beautiful. And this one as well, right? The purple one. Yeah, I love them. So yeah, it can make you a little bit happier if you don't need them anymore, but you can't fake it because yeah, your twin soul is you. And if it's fake, they feel it and then they are still not coming. But this station of liberation represents a significant milestone of personal growth. And my course is just a personal development program. And lots of our students, they say it's the best personal development program they ever followed. And also the cheapest if you compare it to other personal growth programs. Your joy should be entirely self-centered. And maybe you are afraid and you think it's egoistic to experience joy. But you deserve it to experience pleasure and joy and love. You are worthy of it. So the affirmation of this station is I attract love and abundance elevating me to cloud nine. So you're not only attracting love, but you're attracting abundance in every aspect of your life and it will elevate you to cloud nine. So again, I attract love and abundance elevating me to cloud nine. And in just a minute, I will tell you why I am on cloud nine. But let's go to station five, reunion, finally. We arrive at the beautiful station, which is called union or reunion. Maybe you were already in a relationship with your twin soul for one or two years, but it didn't work out. Maybe you were afraid and yeah, then your twin soul will withdraw. So we call it union or reunion, but it's just 
a relationship. But because it's with your twin soul, we call it union. But it's just a name. It's just a name, right? Reconnecting with your twin soul, you now stand taller, wiser, and more radiant than ever, right? This isn't just a joyful reunion. It's an evolution into a higher state of being. You have become so aware of your thoughts and your feelings, and you can create everything. If you can create union with your twin soul, you can create everything. Because creating union is the most difficult, but at the same time, the most easy thing you have ever done. If you don't know how, it's the most difficult thing. And if you do know how, it's the most easiest thing. And it is the easiest thing if you get rid of resistance, because creating things with your mirror soul happens faster than the speed of light. So that's easy. But if you have resistance, then affirmations won't work. If you have blocks, that's why everybody's saying affirmations don't work if you want to create your twin soul or manifesting doesn't work with your twin soul. But they are wrong. They're just doing it wrong. And therefore they think it isn't working. Yeah, but you have to know how to do it. Yeah, it's with everyone. In fact, everything in life is so simple. Life is very simple and you are here to experience how simple it is and that you deserve love and abundance and it doesn't have to be painful but it can be delightful. So my affirmation for station five is with every breath I feel myself on cloud nine. With every breath I feel myself on cloud nine. I am on cloud nine and I am on cloud nine because my twin soul or my future husband just proposed and uh, I already got this ring last year for my birthday and I asked don't you forget to ask something and he said well no no of course it's your birthday <laughs> I can't propose on your birthday right and I was like well <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem to me <laughs> but he just proposed and I am on cloud nine and uh, we have to make the ring a little bit uh, smaller so it will fit on the other finger and I'm so happy so yeah, on my journey the last decade, I went from cloud nine to the dark night of the soul, dark clouds everywhere. And then I traveled via the stations to cloud nine again. It's wonderful. I can recommend it to you. It's really wonderful. I feel so peaceful and relaxed and loved and valued. Yeah. And um, we can do everything together. It doesn't matter what we are doing, but it's always a match. With your twin soul, you are a perfect match. And it will be relaxed. As long as you love yourself. As long as you follow those steps in this video, I hope you understand it was a route, a map to happiness together. And you can be together with everyone. So you can also use the steps to get together. You don't have to be together with your twin soul to experience happiness and ultimate love. You can experience love and abundance with several persons. So looking back at this video, the twin soul journey is truly a remarkable expedition, right? And yeah, I'm thrilled to tell you all all this and I will give a free video a free Q&A video a webinar and where you can ask all your questions so I will put the link below to my free tools page it's a free page and you get meditations webinars so you can experience the way that I'm teaching and I also want to ask you would you appreciate a webinar with my divine masculine with my future husband <laughs> And you can ask him all kinds of questions. And if yes, then type below which kind of questions would you like to ask him? Because then he will consider joining me in a webinar, especially for you. Remember this path, this journey isn't just about overcoming challenges. It's a wonderful adventure of personal growth and discovery. And finally, you will reunite with your twin soul and you will find your way. If you want me to guide you, I use my content, my own content. Oh, that was funny. In the restaurant, there was a menu card and there was a flamingo on it. And I thought, this is a sign he will propose. But it took him another three hours. So at seven o'clock, I saw the flamingo on the menu card and at 10 o'clock he proposed. So I was like, for three hours, is he proposing or what? <laughs> And then I went to the bathroom and um, I was like, well, I am still happy. Also, without getting married in this lifetime, I will be so happy because I'm together with my twin soul. So I'm so happy now I'm going to enjoy dinner. And that was the moment he proposed. <laughs>
<laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So um, I love flamingos because they symbolize my journey with my twin soul. And after the dinner, there was a waiter and he said, Oh, you really like flamingos. Where's your book about? Oh, he said, I want to be your editor. <laughs> and I was looking for an editor. So I see that as a sign to publish the book in English. There's already the ebook and it's part of the course, how to unite with your twin soul. So, and uh, I have it hard copy in Dutch already. And I always use essential oils. I use frankincense to gain more trust. And I call it Definity. I created my own brand when I got together with my twin soul. I started Infinergy, Infinite Energy, because I was working with another brand, but it was like a pyramid game and I didn't like the system because I like freedom. I want people to experience freedom. So I created my own brand, high quality premium essential oil brand with 100% pure essential oils. And I think I now have 15 wonderful essential oils with um, the trusty, the happy, the call me and i think that's everything you need on the twin soul journey to balance your emotions not to step into triggers but if you do have a trigger remember every trigger is a blessing and brings you closer together and finally you will get to cloud nine I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this video, for staying true to my channel, liking, subscribing and sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I would love to see you in my courses and let's make the world around us together a better place. Bye for now.